Hello everybody, today we are going to make my desk a little bit smarter. My desk is an IKEA Beacant motorized desk. I really like it, it's big and it's sturdy and I can move it up and down with two buttons. The problem is that it does not preset, so every time I move it, I am not able to bring it back to the exact position it was before. To solve this problem, I found the Megadesk. No, not the one from the office. Megadesk is an open source project that had the ability to have memory buttons on your beacon's desk. If you have the knowledge, you can print the circuit board by yourself, but since I don't, I've ordered the complete kit on Tindy. I'll leave every link and information in the description down below. After I've received the package, I've started the installation. First thing I've done was the recalibration of the motors. I honestly don't know if it was necessary, but it needed to be done with the original board, so I've done it before replacing it. To do that, you need to press the up and down button simultaneously for 8 seconds, and then keep pressing the down button until the desk will be in its lower position. After that, you have to test the regular button functionality and, as we can see, we're good to go. So, I've removed the two screws and the cable of the control box and I've disconnected the power. This is the Megadesk itself, a simple and nicely made board with its cable. I'm no electronic expert, but this circuit looks really well made. After that, we need to take the original box and we are going to open it. It's welded plastic, so the only way to open it is by cutting it. But be careful with your knife and take it slowly. After making an opening, I was able to pry it open with a pick and a screwdriver. That was definitely the hardest part of the project. We now need to disconnect the flat cable that connects the button to the board, and we can take the original board and store it somewhere safe. I've put it under the desk itself, so it'll be close to the desk and I won't lose it. Now it's just a matter of connecting the buttons and the black cable to the mega desk, being careful of connecting it with the red cable on the right side of the board. We can now screw the control box back in place, reconnect it, and also reconnect the power cable. Since I have the larger 160x80 cm, last thing I need to do was to enter the variant mode. That is done by pressing the up button 16 times, and it is confirmed by a tone. We are done with the installation, and we can see that the Mega Desk worked the same as the original board. But if we press, for example, the up button two times and we hold the last click, we will hear two tone. That means that we've saved position number two. 
To recall a memory preset, we just need to press the up button for as many times as the memory we want to recall. For example, to recall position number 2, we will press the up buttons two times. The memorization is the same for other positions, but we will need to press the button more times. That's it for today, and I hope you found this video interesting. As usual, I invite you to subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you next week, I'm Leo, and as always, remember to keep things alive.